Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Appa in case you guys are new. I have an empties video for you today. I apologize for the setting. This is, you know, the white wall and not the usual uh, place that I sit on. Just because you guys, I am in the process of uh, packing my bags. My room is kind of messy right now and uh, I'm actually leaving for India so I'm filming this way ahead of time when you see this but um, basically it's a mess I just have a lot going on and I need to get some filming done before I can get on the plane because I'm gonna be gone for a while so as usual timestamp is gonna be in the description box I feel like I'm sitting too low but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with this flow okay the first item that i have here is this a shower gel this is the body ecology cozy fireside s'mores i really did like it and i probably would repurchase that so we're starting with the beauty stuff first right and then i have this Evoluderm, 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 um, micellar water. It was like a value pack from Marshalls and it was $3.99, so it's pretty good. I loved it, it worked really well, and I probably would repurchase it. I haven't really seen that one in a while. By the way, guys, I'm actually moving out of my apartment in the next three months, so I'm just not sure if I will be repurchasing products at all this whole entire year because i have a pretty large body care collection so just thought i should let you know the next item that i have here is from a flower beauty and it's this uh, liquid lipstick in the shade merlot kiss so what happened you guys is that the tip kind of just went in i was planning on wearing this lipstick today but it's kind of dried out anyways so it's going in the trash now the next item that i have here is the scent theory hand soaps in the foaming kind and i think it's only foaming that they make and this is in the scent frosted wilds and oh my gosh you guys this is absolutely one of my favorite hand soap companies like it's dirt cheap well it's not like a dollar or anything it's like two something at walmart love it you know if you want bath and body works quality hand soaps need to check it out so that is scent theory and then i have this nail polish remover from swan from the dollar tree i am not really going to dollar tree that much although i did do a haul recently but mainly for like nail polish remover i feel like you can just get it at walmart you know a bigger pack for around the same price so i probably would not be repurchasing any more nail polish remover from dollar tree other nail stuff i probably would still repurchase from the dollar tree and then i have this unscented lotion from target and i probably would repurchase that i think i've repurchased that a couple of times i have this body ecology exotic cherry blossom a body spray that I am just getting rid of because it's old and yeah I just have a lot of other body sprays that I want to focus on right now okay so the next item that I have here is this baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste from Crest probably would repurchase in fact I still have more left and then I have my holy grail deodorant from Dye Idea probably would repurchase Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff you guys in here and I'm really having to just dig in. So this is not really an empty, but it's more of a declutter. It's this high glass finishing powder and it just is a little too shimmery for my taste. Like I thought it was going to be matte. I mean, it does say high glass, but I didn't know that it was going to have a shimmer. So I'm gonna probably give this away to like a family member who wants a powder. And then I have a couple of candles as well, which I will talk about in a little bit because I am trying to, you know, do it by category. 
So I have a couple of nail polishes that I kind of want to briefly talk about. You guys know I have been, I'm really having to dig in. You guys know that I have been into drugstore nail polishes lately and I want to definitely try more brands. It's just that right now with everything that's going on in my professional life and personal life, like I just don't see myself buying any more things while I'm in Cleveland, especially because I have to get out of my apartment in like three months because I don't want to sign a yearly lease anymore knowing that I'm graduating in December. So I have a couple of declutters and some are just going to go to the trash. This one is Nail Junkie by Sinful Colors. It's this really pretty um, shimmer shade and unfortunately guys, I just don't go for colors like this anymore and it's still fine. So I'm actually going to give that one to a friend who does like painting her nails and likes glitter. And then I have a couple more shiny ones from Sinful Color. This one is in Frenzy. This has just dried out. It's such a pretty color, but it's dried out and it's gotta go. And then this one is in Call You Later. Like perfect for the holiday times. As you can see, it's really, really dry and it's just not worth keeping around anymore. Another Sinful Colors nail polish. This is still fine. It's in the shade Dream On. It's a really nice purple for summer and spring. I feel like I'm wearing more pastel nail polishes these days, so I'm just not gonna probably get use of it that much. And I know people who would probably enjoy these types of colors, so I'm just gonna give that away. And then my elf nail polish this is in the shade uh glamour girl i don't think elf makes nail polishes anymore when i was in college they did and this is just you know looking pretty crappy it's dried out so that's gonna go in the trash and then i have this black nail polish by essence it's their gel like shine uh, line it's not like an actual gel nail polish where you need a UV light and stuff but I just don't wear colors like this like I don't wear dark colors like this and it's just not you know it's just not worth having them around so just give it to someone who's you know gonna use that and then this one you guys is from pure eyes I just this is a really pretty color and I actually tried playing with this nail polish last week when I was studying for my exams and it just the formula like I don't know you guys it just was not behaving it was not drying so I'm gonna give it to someone who's probably gonna like it but yeah I just don't think I will be purchasing from pure ice anymore I was kind of disappointed with the formula and the brush too it wasn't that great and then my last nail polish that I have here is this Kiss Gel Shine. This is still brand new. Again, I'm just not wearing colors like this anymore. So these four or five polishes, which are not quite dry yet, these are just going to go as um, giveaways to other people because I know people who would really like to paint their nails and enjoy those colors. Okay. Moving on to Bath & Body Works, finally. I know some of you guys are here for that. I have my hot cocoa and cream. I did cut this and I did use this one up completely. It was a nice one. I absolutely love the scent and I probably would repurchase. And then I also used up, uh, I'm just dropping things here, the shower gel and lotion in hot cocoa and cream. They're two different packagings because they're from two different years. This one says creamy cocoa, mini marshmallows, vanilla musk, and it's your classic holiday hot cocoa scent, you guys. And I would probably repurchase it whenever I am completely restarting my Bath & Body Works collection. And then I have this pocket bag in I Pick You Pumpkin Apple. I love it, and I probably would repurchase that. And then I have this random like blue uh, spray 
from Whole Foods. It was just lying around, so I can't really say much about it, but it's supposed to be like a mist of some sort, like a pillow mist or something, and I think my mom was using that. So that's that, and then I think that is it for Bath & Body, right? Yeah, I think that is it for Bath & Body. So moving on to the, oh, one last Bath & Body, oops. I kind of need to show you that. And then this is Stress Relief Eucalyptus uh, Spearmint. This is the body scrub. I loved it and I probably would get it during the SAS. Then I have this candle from Aldi. This is Happily Ever After. And this is such a cute like packaging. I just love it and the scent was really nice it was very different than my usual bakery stuff but it was kind of nice to like try something different so the keynotes for this one say jasmine rose and black currant and i thought it was interesting that i actually did really like it because it had that like jasmine and floral note so that is it for i'm like moving stuff here and there because my table is a mess. And then I have this candle from Aldi again, and this is in firewood candle, wood smoke leather amber is what it says. And it was a good one, and it was a good change, and I really did like this packaging. Aldi is really upping their game in the candle department, you guys, and I probably would repurchase that whenever I am done living here <laughs> and then the next one that i have here is mango papaya and this is a so cute i just love it this is actually from a brand called hannah's candle co from target and i absolutely love these candles they're pretty affordable and i really enjoyed this scent it's a good one for the summertime so that's that and then i have this one from aldi as well in mahogany and amber this was given to me as a present and oh my gosh my battery is flashing so i'm gonna rush this but this was a nice one too and i probably would repurchase okay you guys that is it and since my battery is flashing i'm gonna end this video here thank you so much you all for watching and i hope you like all of these empties items and the last thing was just a candle lighter please let me know down in the comments below what else you would like to see and i will see you in my next one bye